All right, now, if you have a beef about rising gas prices, you'll be raging about this bowl because beef prices are soaring big time. Same deal with cheese, potatoes. So that cheeseburger with fries, well, that's going to fry your budget. And Bennigan's CEO, Paul Mangiavelli, says that these climbing food and gas prices are rattling customers, but not enough to have them stop coming, I guess, right? Nothing can stop one of our get great guests from coming to Bennigan's for a Monte Cristo. So, but even when they see that, and that's a great, great sense. But even when they see that that has eight million calories, well, actually, it doesn't. You know, if, 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 if we have to, I'm sorry, seven state, million. We have to state the calories, but actually, it's not that bad. It's great in protein. It does have a little high in fat and everything, but, but all you those, know, you know, a lot of those key ingredients they've been running up in price, right? But you know what? When you hear about the second anniversary of Obamacare, you need a Monte Cristo <laughs> just to soothe yourself. And no, it's still serving liquor, right? So that could help. Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Um, what do your patrons do? I mean, and, and, and you're at the front line there. You, you obviously want to you know, keep these costs down. But do they make their own decisions? Do they veer, let's say, to chicken or, or alternatives, you know, pasta? Do they mix and match the menu a little yeah, bit? Yeah, what we do in our space is we try to give uh, blackboard specials. Uh, we try to break up the menu so that if you want to be good, you can be good. If you want to just have salad and some proteins, you can have that. I figure if you go to a restaurant and you're being good, what is the point? <laughs> but, but anyway, go ahead. Well, and again, that's why I think that to solve all the problems, if everybody would just go to Bennigan's, <laughs> you can have whatever you want. You can have a nice drink, a but beer. But you haven't had to pass along a lot. Let's say the beef cost particulars. I guess they've been the most pronounced, right? Well, you know, it's, it's the nature of the beast in our business, right? I mean, it's, it's commodity pricing. And so you can, you can choose to be lazy and pass on price, right. or you can choose to be proactive and try to get ahead of it, but which is what we do. But do you cut the portions? Like when I go to your restaurant, and I, this is what I was saying with you during the break, I know your restaurants very, very well. Um, great food. But you do serve a lot of food. I mean, you don't, you're not chintzy on the portions. So um, would you be a little chintzier if this keeps going? Would you cut back on that? No, I, I, I wouldn't, I, because that would be the last resort. Look, I mean, you talk about it every day. The economy is fragile. The last thing you want to do is to have one more piece to alienate your guest. You just don't want to do it. So the franchisees and I, with our vendors, we get together and we look at the menu. And what do we, you do? What do you do? Well, what we do is we break down the entire menu. There's a menu optimization study, and we, and we analyze what is selling and from, the, from the mix. So the, the signature things that we were kidding about, whether it's the Monte Cristo, it's the Turkey O'Toole, it's drunken pot roast, people come here specifically for that. Oh, I forgot that about event. that. That's your home run. That should be your favorite as well. It actually, yes. Yeah. Half my Irish. And, uh, and people come from far and large just to come to the restaurants to try those things. Way, so the we last thing you want to do. Your Chicago restaurant is, is the busiest, right? It is They're a They're just now getting over St. Patrick's Day. Right? They're not even over it yet. Really? Because we've got the patio going. The beautiful thing is the weather's been great. Yeah. So in, in the northern climates where we are, we're just doing fantastic. Well, you're doing something right. And this guy is as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Another one, we've had all these great food executives come in. You're either not eating your product or you're just running it as you're eating it. Running as we're eating it. Really? I yes. drive as I'm eating it. But anyway, Paul, thank you very, very much. Continued My success. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.